This is the Blender 4.0. Here I have two cubes. You don't need to turn on the snapping option to use this feature. I want to place this blue cube over this red cube. For that, select the blue cube. Then you can select any object transforms like move, rotate and scale. I am going to press a G key to move this object. Now you can move your object anywhere in 3D space. Then you need to press B key to use that feature. After pressing B key, your object will lock. Then you need to select any corner point or median point. Corner point highlights with an orange rectangle and median point highlight with orange triangles. I am going to select this corner point. Then you need to select the second point from the other object on which you want to snap your object. I am going to select this corner point from this red cube. In this way you can easily snap your objects. This feature works in edit mode also. Go to the edit mode and here you can snap only selected part. Here I am going to select this corner word because I want to snap it. Then press G key, then press B key. Then select one more time that same point which you want to snap. Then select second point from the another object on which you want to snap. Like this. You can press the middle mouse button to transform your object along particular axis while selecting the second point. There are n number of uses of this tool. You can use it with words, edges, faces and different object transforms like move, rotate, scale and in different situations also. As a modeling artist, I can see that this is a good feature and it will help to improve modeling speed. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. So, in the next video, take care.